decide to cross from Slovenia to Croatia illegally <laughs> because we've put in no tolls and motorways because we haven't got a big net for Slovenia so we've come this crazy road the road got worse and worse bumpy and nuts and then there was a policeman coming the other way so we just had to get off the road because it wasn't enough room for us both to pass there he is the little policeman he just told us basically it was illegal to go that way that's why he's there but very nice of him Nick got out to speak to him and now we're getting a police escort into Croatia. This road is so hot, Molly. Yes, I mean, we should have turned back after. Stupid uh, foreigners as we are. But I don't know if they'll appreciate me filming. And he's probably thinking, good riddance. <laughs> Probably thinking crazy travellers, what the hell were they doing coming down this road? Google! So many I got a bone to pick with Google, I tell you. Taking us on an illegal route into a country. This is our first encounter with the police. Luckily he was um, blocked our way kind of thing because otherwise... Yeah, we could have got in trouble at the border. The van search taken apart and searched because they thought we were trying to smuggle something across. <laughs> smuggle little black dangerous animals. <laughs> hey, it is. Well, our deadline, we, we said 45 minutes we've got at a push. We may just make it to where we're going to stay, spend the night by, uh, before it sunsets, before the sunsets, but no chance now for this detour. So that was fun. Different way to enter a country. We thought we'd take a little sly way in. <laughs> Illegal. Police escort. Uh -huh, get to the border. Passports. Completely forgot that it's not in the EU and you need your passport. Passport. But is it in the EU? Because we needed our passports. They scanned them. And then, like, just as we entered the country, a couple of hundred metres down the road, there was a, a sign saying um, EU. But it's looking good. Entering in golden hour. Hopefully we're going to get to see a magical sunset over the ocean. Yeah, we're like 15, 20 minutes away from our what we've put in for our first stop for the night, which looks nice, from park for night. Um, so the sunset, we're hoping to get to the coast before sunset. We've got 20 minutes, so it's, oh, it's going to be a close one. But we are very excited to be in a new country. It's new country evening, almost illegally. So we arrived here late last night. Unfortunately, we didn't quite catch the sunset, but we did find a nice little park up right on the shoreline. This is our location. The van's parked over there. You've got a lovely little village behind us and this lovely little bay. Dead still and calm the water and the sunshine's come out. So it's looking good. Yeah, we're going to drive towards Rahinji today, which is about, I think about half an hour, 45 minutes up the coast. We need to exchange some money and that's kind of like our first destination that we'd um, research that we want to visit but obviously because it was late last night we just stopped here we don't want to be driving and arriving in places in the dark so yeah very excited about Croatia about five kilometers further from leaving our stop this morning and came across this beautiful little stop it's just amazing and we decided you know what we're just gonna have a day of relaxation we haven't done any editing we've just chilled on the coast to this
been for a little walk down there. Apart from that, we have just absolutely 100% relaxed. The van is just literally parked right there and it's just amazing. It's so nice to be back on the coast and some blue skies are always welcome. After a couple of weeks of heavy rain and grey and miserable, it's so nice to be back by the seaside. Fresh sea air. And we've Beautiful. been soaking our feet in these little puddles and Nick went for a little swim this morning in the sea. Mm. It's just been so relaxing. And we've seen probably two people today. Yeah, a couple of dog walkers, that's it. The whole day. Nice to hear the sound of the waves and to see the sunset over the ocean. That's something we've missed. Yeah, that's something we haven't seen for quite some time. Not sure how good it's going to be tonight. <laughs> It's a sunset anyway, that'll do. And it's lovely and mild for the winter. Mm. It really is, it's not that cold at all. So it's pretty much perfect. Is this the perfect spot? Oh, that's a big statement. You can see the van behind us. Oh, so look is at that. Is this the perfect van life free stop? Unless the police come later and tell us we can't stay here. Shh, touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. Come here, Charlie. Come here, good boy. Charlie loves it, being back by the sea, outside all the time, getting mucky. Annoying Dizzy for a change. This is where we stayed last night. There's a main road there, but it was really quiet last night. We're the only ones here and it was so peaceful. Yesterday, we got gas. And when I say we got gas, I mean we got gas. We're coming towards the end of our trip. We're heading on our way home now. We struggled for gas most of the time. And in Croatia, one of the last countries, we just get loads but you just go to a gas station they've got the adapters and they've got a license to fill up bottles so our two little spanish bottles which have been pretty much empty we've been carrying around for the last four months got those filled up and we had yet to get rid of our polish bottles so we filled that up so it's good it's getting cooler now so we can just have the heating on all the time and sarah can finally cook all the cakes she's been promising me this is her new favourite hobby now. Enjoy yourself, darling. Oh my God, right, there's so much litter just around this little area. So obviously at night, people have stayed here, I presume this, yeah. and then they've just come outside for a wee and thrown the tissue on the floor. Because it's on park for night. I mean, I'm not, you know, it's not necessarily the vans because this is a parking place where people park and have picnics during the day. And because there's no toilets here, so you know, people go and then they just drop their tissues, wee tissues. So yes, this has taken me literally less than five minutes to clear this whole sort of, whole area. You see the van down there, all the way to the end there, and there was a lot of tissues, cans and stuff, whole area, five minutes. So if everyone did this and kept the place tidy, then there may not be camping vans, you know, and the police may be yeah. more lenient and stuff. But Especially when we park somewhere and then it's just messy with tissue, 
We just get the blame, don't we, the vanners? But even more so, especially because there's a big green wheelie bin over the other side of the road, so we don't have to carry this with us. I can put this over there now and then that's done and you can feel good about that you've stayed here free mm. and you've you've cleared up as well. Do you get funny looks? If you pick up litter, people are like, what is that person doing? Big bits, little bits, look at that. quick, smooth. Look how done. quick, look at that. Look at that action. Look at this. Go, 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 go. go. Really, really quick here. So you can get everything. Wow, look, go, 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 go. Quick, this one. Five, four, oh, oh. Oh, five, four, oh, no. three, oh, not under two, pressure. one. Oh, under pressure. You put a timer on it and she fails. Oh, it is. Oh, 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 she's struggling. She's struggling with this one. Oh, and gets it. So all of that litter and look, here's the bin. And the area that I've just cleared is literally 50 meters away over there. High five. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.